I teach at the Stamp School of Art and Design at the University of Michigan, and I'm teaching two courses right now, interactive books and graphic narratives. And both of them involve using words and images. Um, and it's really great to see what the students do just naturally. Um, it's a complicated, those are complicated classes to teach because you need so many skills for both of those things. You need, uh, you need to know how to draw, draw well. You need to know how to design a page. You need to know how dialogue sounds, how to make natural dialogue, how to structure a nar narrative. Um, there's just so many things you need to know how to do. Um, and you can't really teach a class of 20 kids how to do that in one semester. And then for electronic books, I mean, you have the added difficulty of all the technology. Um, but so I think I, in the classroom, I kind of try to emulate how I learned these things, which was not in school. It was basically like, I'm just going to try to do this. I'll read some comics. I love comics. Okay, I'm going to just do this. And so I, I generally give my students in the comics class two, two big projects, two five-page stories. And I might do a few demonstrations, <laughs> but I basically say, go write this story. Go make this comic. In reality, they are going to have to teach themselves to do it as soon as they get out of school. You know, if they use computers, the, pro the programs change constantly. They're constantly evolving. Um, everything, you know, you get a little more knowledge, you meet another person, and your outlook on life can totally change. You know, you have to constantly be thinking about what does that mean? What do I do with this information? So it really is the most valuable thing kids could learn is that they will always have to learn and always be changing and always be adapting to you know, what it is they want to do next.